have a young lady, Masura Wiggins. She's got her violin. And Masura, how many songs are you going to do? Just one today? Are you ready? You ready to do what you want to do? All right, y'all. I want to hear a big round of applause and welcome to the stage, Boston's own Masura Wiggins. Some great people, and we're also going to have some great entertainers. 
in a little bit, I'm going to come back on stage, and I'm going to give you a chance to win some shorts, some t-shirts. So sit back and relax. It's another great day. National Night Out right here at Sparrow Park. I've been standing up here with this young entertainer. She goes by the name of Lexi, and she's right out of Boston, Dorchester to be exact. But she's down here in the South Bend to perform for us today. I need for y'all to give a big welcome to the stage for Lexi. She's got three songs for us today. Lexi, do your thing. Could fly away, but 
be a bag of bones driving down the road. Senate 
takes up this piece of legislation and move it forward. So I'm asking you here today, this is my ask, tomorrow when you, go, when you get a chance, if you get a chance, give Senator Warren and Senator Markey a call. They're both supportive of the legislation, but tell them how important it is to do pass this gun legislation nationwide because it has a direct impact on the city of Boston because of the illegal guns that are coming here. Now we all always talk about when you see a shooting like we did in El Paso and a shooting like we saw in Dayton, Ohio last week, how horrible these mass shootings. But if you go around America every single day, and you take homicides that happen in urban America every single day, and sometimes there's one in one city and one somewhere else, that equates to a mass shooting every single day in America. And most of the times those guns are illegal, people have access to them, and we have to stop that. So I'm asking you, that's the one ask I have for you tonight. We're also working in the neighborhood with our new Bureau, Bureau of Community Engagement. Nora Bastion is here, and Nora's in charge of that. Our summer fund is up this year. We put more money in our summer fund. Our outreach work of the SOAR program, we revamped the SOAR program. It used to be the, 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 used to be the uh, street breaker program, and we're working to do that. And one of the big issues that plague this neighborhood, and I know it does, is, is addiction. And our budget this year has 35% more in it for addiction. And we often talk about what's happening down the street. And when I was walking in here today, the press was asking me, what's going on with Melina and Mass Ave? And what's going on there is that we have an addiction problem in our country. And we have to continue to work at that, those, 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 those issues and get to the heart of them. We're putting more counselors on the street. We're doing more outreach to people. And we're trying to encourage more people to get treatment. The one thing I'll say to everyone here, because that, that issue of addiction isn't just on Mass and, Mass and Cass. It's in our homes, it's in our living rooms, it's in our kitchens, it's our family members. We created in our 311 line a couple of years ago, if you have a family member struggling with addiction, alcohol or drugs, you don't know what to do, you can call 311 and we can hook you up with a counselor and explain to you what the steps are to try and help that person get into recovery. And if you have a family member that wants to get into recovery, you just call 311 we'll work to hook them in to get them into recovery. Those are things that we have to continue to do. With that, I want to congratulate everyone for being recognized tonight. And I'm going to turn this microphone over to your police commissioner, our police commissioner, who is a year and two days on the job, Commissioner Willie Gross. Yeah. Thank you, Your Honor. Let's hear from Mayor Walsh. I wouldn't be your 42nd commissioner if it wasn't for the great mayor and the people of Boston. Hey, just look around in celebration. Look. And all the people out here for the fourth year in a row, cherishing a great memory of a wonderful woman that took care of the community. This is a great legacy as we see adults, as you see children, and we see an entire diversified community together, all God's children, in remembrance of this great woman. Because this is what she would have wanted. And I just have to salute you all for, for, for bringing that great memory of hers to everyone. Everyone that's here today, that's smiling, that's here with their children, their loved ones, and their relatives are sharing in a part of her legacy because she was about peace, family, and love. So this is just a thank you to you. Just like you all standing here, it's just like the community that raised me from a farm boy to a kid in the city all the way to police commissioner because of you and her great legacy. Let's keep this going so that the children here today will be the next mayor, the next commissioner, the next president, but they will have an understanding of love, peace, affection, respect, because it all started with a great woman and we are an extension of her family. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I'm, I just want to say I'm honored. My name is Ed Flynn, District City Council. I work with, closely with Kim Janey, who's also the District City Council. I'm just so proud of the outstanding working relationship the residents, the neighbors have with the Boston Police. The work our city government is doing, making sure every voice and everyone here is treated fairly, treated with respect and dignity. I'm proud to work closely with Mayor Walsh in with the police commissioner, with the various departments, to make sure this district and all of Boston works best. Again, thank you very much for the opportunity for me to be with you tonight. Thank you.